Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable your F12 boot menu on your ESA laptop. In our case, we have the ESA Swift laptop, as you can see. So when I power on immediately, I go to F2. So when you go to F2, it will take you to the BIOS setup, as you can see. So when you reach the BIOS setup here, uh, we have our Core i5 uh, ESA. And this could work on other ESA laptops and other version of computers with the same BIOS system. So what I'm going to do here, uh, you're going to go ahead and click the down arrow key. Then you navigate to F12 boot menu and shows that it is disabled. So when you reach here, you're going to, to enable this. Then the other thing, you have to make sure you have Windows on your USB flash. You can watch a video on how to create a bootable USB drive and how to download Windows. So when you reach here, uh, you're going to go ahead and click the down arrow key. And you have to make sure USB wake up support is supported. And the other thing you can do, you can disable fast boot or you can also leave it like that. In some cases, when the computer boots, to just boot first and to forget the other side for so you can leave this like that and can also come back and enable it after so when you reach here you're good to go so the next thing so in our case here you're going to go ahead and click f10 so when you save changes you're going to click f12 so that we see that the boot menu works so when you click the boot menu this is what will happen it will go ahead and display all the all the all the other drives that you have on the pc in your case if you put the usb that has windows it will always show down here then you click next then to ask you then to start loading the windows files so if this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon or that get notified. So I'm going to click Ctrl Alt Delete or I can just switch off the computer. In my case, I'm going to stop from here. So it's just a quick video on how to how to enable the F12 boot menu. So I'm going to just go ahead and switch off the computer or I can click Ctrl Alt Delete to restart. Then. So thanks for watching. If the video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Have a nice time. Goodbye. Again.